Welcome to DIY RV and Home Campers Life. My name is Greg. Today I want to take a look at a crimper that was sent to me by IWS. It is their IWS 0801C multifunction crimp tool. Now this crimps from 8 gauge all the way up to 1 gauge and also has a built-in cutter on the tip of it. All right, let's jump right on into this. Um, I've got some six gauge THHN wire here. I'm gonna go ahead and score it with my knife. I'm taking, I'm gonna put the end of it into the crimper, push it down, and then I just roll the uh, cord back and forth, the cable back and forth, and it actually finished breaking the sheathing without doing any damage to the um, wires. Now you can see I've had a little uh, issue with the wire falling out. That was just me in the position I was trying to catch the video on. But it seemed to crimp really good. Make sure you do two crimps on these. Um, these uh, jaws measure out at about 205 thousandths. So you definitely want two crimps in them uh, to get the full potential of uh, a good solid crimp. And what I'm doing here is just put some heat uh, shrink tubing over them. Uh, that'll help protect, uh, keep uh, the moisture out and everything like that. Next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do some four gauge wire. As you saw, I just sliced off a little piece of it, um, just testing out the cutting edge too. Um, again, use a knife, score it, uh, put it into the jaws of the um, crimper, crimp down a little bit and just kind of go back and forth on the, uh, the wire and the sheathing finishes breaking right off. Again, two crimps, always want to start closest to the outside edge of the, of the um, lug, closest to the end where the um, holes are uh, and then work your way towards the cable when you're crimping. Um, the way the uh, crimps work it kind of stretches as it uh, crimps down. Uh, again this uh, heat shrink tubing here that I've got has got an adhesive on it so as it does heat up that uh, liquefies and uh, you can see right there it, it uh, oozes out, creates a water seal. Next one I did was the two gauge wire and uh, went ahead and uh, got that stripped, put the lug on and as I got on the bigger wires it did actually get easier to crimp and part of that is because of mechanical advantage. Uh, you can see that the larger uh, size lugs, larger size wires are closer to the uh, pivot point of that crimper. So the mechanical advantage is there. It, it, you could tell uh, it worked great. As you can see, the crimps are coming out really good. There is some adjustment if necessary on the actual uh, tool that you can loosen up a nut and turn a dial and it actually helps to recess it a little bit. But there it is. Um, I've got the six gauge 4 gauge and 2 gauge wire crimped. Everything came out really good. Um, taking a look back at the blade of the cutter, didn't see any nicks, anything like that. Uh, held, held a good edge. I you know, did 10 cuts with it. Uh, various uh, types of uh, copper wire. Of course, do not use a steel wire or anything like that with it. It's not designed for that. Um, they also do have the IWS1040 uh, crimper, which is very much similar to this, except for it does not have the cutter edge on it, but it does the 1 aught, 2 aught, 3 aught, and 4 aught cables, so for the larger one. So for two, um, if you got two of these crimpers, you can go from 4 aught all the way down to 8 gauge wire. Um, so really the only thing I see as a downfall to these is the handles being plastic. Uh, it doesn't uh, take away from the functionality of it. It's just the, the feel. Um, I've got another pair of theirs, uh, cable crimpers, that have a rubberized um, handles. And I like those a little bit better. But they feel solid. They've got a nice, good, solid lock. Uh, when you do get the crimp done, they are adjustable for uh, crimp pressure if need be. Uh, just a, a nut that you back off and you turn the dial. Um, it's got four positions. 
Um, they recommend changing position once uh, or do one position at a time to do it. Fit and finish. There is some little bit of blemishes on it. Uh, but overall, not a bad product, especially for the price. So, hope you guys got something from this. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, share the video. Till the next one, you have a great day.